Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Glenn Jones, and I'll be uh, your prayer chaplain today. And uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, remind everyone that I will be in the room back there after the service if you'd like some personal uh, prayer. And um, my habit is to go there, even if no one shows up, and I'll sit there and just do prayer treatment for the for this group and for unity in general and, and for... Um, the love of God to be present here and now. And I also like to uh, give a, uh, so, you know, prayer is, what is prayer? Prayer is an acknowledgement of truth. It's not a beseeching or, or you know, we can ask for things, but the, really the way to, uh, to communicate with spirit is to to know who we are, to acknowledge the truth of of ourselves and each other. And in who and what we are is is it's love and we'll never plumb the depths of that love uh, we can spend a whole lifetime working on that which is a wonderful way to live um, but even the great masters are children before the, the one which keeps things interesting so um, I'd like to acknowledge all the people in the background that have been keeping this um, this facility going who have been working behind the scenes. You don't see them up here that often, but um, like Merlin Fisher, uh, Bill Evans, um, Robin the, uh, in the office. And uh, there's so many p folks here. Tim uh, in Missouri. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, there's so much love and energy that comes together to support us in doing what we're doing, which is to get to know uh, the spirit in us even greater. So having said that, um, let us uh, join together. And if, if you'd like to close your eyes and relax, uh, just breathe and uh, take these words as your own. For there is only one life, one presence and one power. That life is God. That life is my life right here and right now. So as I rest and know that I am one with the Creator and that all those around me are also one with the Creator, whether they are conscious of it or not, there's only one presence. And that presence and that power and that understanding is the essence of Christ. This is what Jesus knew and embodied. It's what he came to know and he came to share. I and my Father are one, and so are you. And the, we are the sonship. We are the offspring beyond duality, beyond male, female, up, down, right or left. There is only one. And that oneness is known in us and as us and through us. We are the embodiment. We are God at play as us, as individuals. In that, in that oneness, in that grace, let us embrace our own Christ consciousness, knowing that God does not play favorites. God did not give more to anyone than anyone else. If God were to play favorites, God wouldn't be God. So Jeshua ben Joseph, Jesus, didn't receive any more than we are given. Let that sink in. Know that who and what you are is a blessing to this world. You're a blessing to me. And we are a blessing to each other. And as we sit and embody the truth of our own being, we are in joy and in awe. As a balloon that's been taken down underwater and finally released and rises to the surface in joy, that's what we are. As we become conscious of our own being, our own essence, our essence is naturally joyful, trusting, and peaceful. And we know from perspective 
that all the worrying that we ever did never amounted to a hill of beans. It didn't get us anywhere. So we can let it go and know that we are being cared for. We are loved. And that which loves us is not necessarily visible. And that's where we come in. Because we in this room are visible. We are the embodiment of God in physical form that it might love itself in new and wonderful ways. So when you open your eyes at some point and look around, you don't have to say or do anything, but just know that what you are looking at, you are looking with, and it's God. And God is about love. I speak my word from the essence of my being and know that it is so. And so it is. Yeah, amen.